stories immortalizing both manohar and madurai Visiting the heritage sites with Manohar was indeed a trip back to a historic past, the days of the Pandya kings. During my boyhood, I always liked water, and this was a big body of water, and so you know, I I, I liked it very much. And bec uh, because this is the later in life, I realized this is the world's largest uh, temple, Tapakulam. I had a feeling of mystic uh, about uh, Yane Malay. It seemed like you know the, the Malay is standing there and watching this ancient historic city. But it is one of my misfortunes that many times I wanted to climb up the hill when I was young. Somehow that did not happen. But I had dreams, often dreams of as if I am on top of the hill and watching. Uh, the Madre. I even had a dream once that my wife Mahima in her wheelchair was there on top of the hill, and I was explaining to her the the beautiful view of Madre. So I have strong associations of Animale. So this is one of the themes I used. You know, I used three or four uh, pictures of Animale in my book My Madre. I love this college because the, it had such noble buildings and it, an oasis of trees. And I realized that uh, some of the American college buildings are among the most uh, uh, noble ones in, in the whole of South India. And among these, I particularly liked uh, the main hall, which is uh, built in Indo-Saracenic style more than 100 years ago. This was built by a famous British architect called Henry Irving, who did the Mysore Maharaja Palace and the very beautiful uh, art uh, museum uh, in, in Madras. And uh, so when I decided to write the book, almost the, one of the decisions I took was that I should include this building in my book. So I have this drawing both in Greenwell years and uh, multiple facets of my mother. One of my strong memories of uh, Mahal is when we were children, I, I would have been 
around five or four and a half or thereabouts. And all of our cousins came here and uh, we linked our hands and went around one pillar. It required 11 of us to, to make a circle, but we were children. <coughs> then <coughs> every time any relative came to Madurai, my parents always brought them here and I always uh, uh, came with them. Uh, I always uh, used free hand to draw all the lines of whatever buildings I did. But these pillars had a, you know, a, a just narrowing down at the top and they were so tall and I wanted the pillars to be perfect. The first time I used a scale to, to draw the, the, the straight line of the pillars, I was worried that it should not look like an engineering drawing. But fortunately, after I ended it, you know, it looked very nice. Somebody even suggested I should use it as a cover drawing. So I was very happy with that. Then the second drawing I did with the archways inside these shorter pillars, um, uh, with, with the fluted uh, you know, uh, aspects to the, to the archway, that was also a very beautiful uh, picture. Then when my wife Mahima came for a book launch in 2002, when she came to the Mahal and she saw that Nataka Sala, which I wanted to do, my vision had gone down, it was dark inside, I could not see properly and I was intimidated by it and uh, I did not do it. My, my wife said, Mano, it looks so beautiful, why don't you try and fail? You try, do it and if you cannot do it, you abandon it because it's such a beautiful piece. Then I said, well, why not? And then, you know, Chitra Varvin helped a lot. We took at least some 30, 40 photographs taken from different angles. So I understood it three-dimensionally. Once I understood it three-dimensionally, using whatever knowledge I have of perspective, I, I did that drawing and finally it turned out to be one, of, one among my favorites. But that picture took an awful long, long, long time to do. It would have taken, night after night I used to work till about 1.32 and it would have taken about a month to complete it. This part of the mandapam is open to the sky, sometimes light falls on it directly. And I say the, our school drawing master Venkatasami, who is a very talented artist and a photographer, he gave me two or three references of this group of statue. And uh, I, one of the drawings I enjoyed most drawing. It was not a very challenging drawing because the, the, the references I had were very good. And so this became so special in my mind. I used this as the very first drawing in my book. It was the Arvind Eye Hospital's connection that renewed and strengthened his ties with the city. Chitro of Arvind family offered a strong support to his creative endeavors. Room number one of the Arvind guest house is his second home. It's a source of inspiration for all of us, for our people who can, whenever you have got a will and power, you can uh, succeed. Uh, so both the, the couple is an example for uh, all of us. Say, both depending on each other, helping each other, not depending, I will say that, helping each other. but. Ultimate goal has been reached by them. See, he succeeded in his work of uh, the painting or drawing and other things, and she hel helping him in his efforts. So we appreciate all his efforts. And uh, not only he himself is a visual challenger, but he has come up with a good project of helping the visual ch challenged uh, in the and uh, right now he has uh, formed an uh, endowment on uh, his wife's name and he has given a considerable amount to, to help the visually challenged people. So what I have to say is that uh, really we have to thank him on my behalf and behalf of the institution. I have to thank him for all his efforts. We still take him as an inspirational model for everyone and so that is what I, whenever I think of Mano, I think of that. Mahima and Manohar are perfect role models and a perfect couple. Their life is a message. He is an embodiment of willpower and courage 
to tide over any ordeal. He is filled with passion, sweetened with compassion. Thank you.